to the elements in the first one that we're going to do is fire here in fire. So give me a moment. So what we're going to do is um, for the elements, we're going to pull a card from each deck. All right, we're going to do one tarot card and a clarifying tarot card and then oracle cards. And then for each element, we are just going to um, pull an overall energy, do a one card read for that. All right, so and I'm going to pull a love card from these Par Paravati cards that I have, okay, which was a gift. So let's see what spirits, what messages, what insight guidance we have for the fire sign for this fall season. Okay, what would you like for the fire sign to know? Fire sign. Fire sign. A lot of creation taking place for you by your signs during this time. And this is like not a new beginning creation. This is continuing to create um, what it is that you have been doing for a while. Okay. So what's coming out is the two of coins. So this is, you know, work-life balance, like you have a lot going on. Um, and the balance is really coming in between uh, uh, connecting with your wisdom or are you gonna let your emotions overthrow you in a way that's going to uproot you from everything it is that you've been putting in, right? Because this is about things working out. This is about things going, right? Um, creating new cycles, right? This is a win for you, for real. You are really um, protected in your efforts and what it is that you're doing, how, how it is that you're doing it even, okay? Um, be sure that you are not doing things in order to just show up. Right? Make sure that it's pure of spirit, pure of heart. so slippery. You know, make sure that um, you ride the wave, go with the flow of things, and when things get turbulent, take your time. And like, if you begin to get overwhelmed and by any means, it's really important for you to uh, keep going. <laughs> okay, because here we have the confirmation card. You have two twos. So you have the two of coins. Right, and then you have two of wands and the strength card, right? So, fire and water. Um, so this is a lot about a union with your higher self, right? And making sure that you are um, not going overboard, not overexerting yourself by any means in any way that may overthrow you, okay? Like stop and smell the roses, take a break, rest when you need to, right? Things will get tough, but know that you have the wisdom to um, to overcome it. Power of training, tank, training wild beasts. Whoa, in my gut. Whew. Fire signs, y'all come in this autumn, like, y'all just, like, on top of things, on top of your game, on top of, um, like, really connected, really in union with oneself, okay? You are uh, setting out, marking, you see the vision, right? And you're ready to take it on. You have the power to do so. You have the initiative to do so. You have the support to do so. All right. There is a lot of love and romance and um, like just connection with another person, with other people, right? Very passionate energy as well. Uh, very loving, very pure, very beautiful energy. What else is here for Signs. What are the messages do we have for the sign? Yeah, a lot of creation energy, right? And, and moving through these new doors, like very confident. Your confidence is 
there, right? And it's very heart centered. A very it's important that purity is the the lead of things, like being in your virtue for real, and not doing things out of um, needing someone. Not doing things because you want someone to do something for you in return, but doing it because you want to do it. You know, beauty might be something for you. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> um, might be focused on beauty. All right. And um, mm. Mm. Yeah, so you're discovering something new about yourself at this time, too. This is Asray. Uh, she says, without a rich heart, treasure is less likely to be discovered. So you are feeling very passionate. Like, you may be learning about some new gifts that you have um, that you weren't aware of, and it's really serving you and being able to move forward in a way that you are wanting to. At this time, things are moving forward in a very grounded and but speedy way. Right, and it's bringing forth new, a lot of new opportunities are coming forth for you during this autumn, this fall. <clears throat> yeah. You're looking, you're only, you're very focused on moving forward and forward only. Wow. Birth of magic. Right, so you are connecting with yourself in a way where you are really manifesting things like. I uh, talked about in the general, if you haven't watched that in the, the collective reading of how things are just kind of happening for you, like seeming very magical, but what is not seen is the work that was put in behind you, okay? The focus is very strong at this time, all right? And this is you... Tapping back into your innocence, it says, here lies a message to open your heart and find that smile child within. Um, so this is about having fun, you know, like just having a sense of curiosity, not thinking you know everything. Like, I'm, I'm going to trust this and I'm going to go with it. I'm going to see what is given. What does it have to give to me? What is it that I need to, and, and like kind of figuring it out along the way, you know, not... Um, Not trying to make it, not trying to act like you know everything, but um, just trusting. Just trusting like a baby climbing up on the counter trying to reach something, not knowing that it may fall. There is no fear, right? No fear here. Anything is possible in this energy. Waxing moon, the energy is gaining momentum, all right? So you are getting bigger, you are growing, all right? There is money coming in, all right? There is material coming in, there is uh, your physical world is, is becoming what you desire, what you want of it, okay. Someone to ask. Wow. And you got harvest, ego, nimba. She says, We are always prospering. So, fire signs. You're prospering. Okay. It's, it's taking place. Um, there's also a lot of healing of ending old cycles, like cutting old cords, old ties, as well with um, like mother energy. This may be healing the mother energy. And here, this may just be simply healing mother wounds this season even um this can be just any chords that do not necessarily serve you okay any if they're chords but definitely of the mother sort you have i am a dreamer that's your personal power so Stick to your vision. That's Pisces energy. Okay. I reveal my truth. It's a little so something as you heal is like you're you're connecting more and more with a deeper sense of yourself. 
right? You were seeing yourself for who it is that you truly are. That came out in the second half. So we have candles here. So maybe this is a good time to get into some candle work, some candle magic, some spell work, some root work, right? Conjure, whatever, whatever form of practice. And we have puzzles. So things are coming together, right? You're seeing how everything fits. Okay, and or maybe you can see how everything fits. Maybe you're helping others reveal their truth by some means. Right, and showing up as this nurturing, helping others heal fire signs. What else is here? Let's see what's for you here in love. Love for the fire signs. What messages do you have for the fire sign in love? Witness. So we have, you hold my heart. So there may be someone who may not necessarily be near near you at this time um that's thinking about you they may come back and try to reach out there or this may be people who are already around you they really trust you right they really um they have a lot of love for you they respect they respect you enough to trust you with their heart okay and um let's see but else? Maybe you are trusting someone to hold your heart with. Maybe there's someone around you who really has you in the palm of their hand, okay? Really loving type of connection. I'll pull one more card. Let's see. <laughs> and we have caress me with your heart, okay? So, you know, you're either wanting love from someone or someone is wanting love from you. Um, someone's really wanting to possess you, right? Really wanting to hold you close, hold you tight. Um, but they may not really, if they are not, if this person is not already near you or around you, they may not, they may be having a hard time figuring out how to connect, reconnect with you, right? They may be missing your love, Um or you may be missing their love and you're wanting to reach out to them and don't know how, okay? But um, maybe they feel like that you won't be willing to uh, deal with them, be with them, uh, connect with them, listen to them, hear them out, right? But whoever this is, they really trust you and they really want you. Okay, so that is it for you fire signs. So let's see what's going on for Aries. What messages do you have for Aries for fall? Aries for the fall. Aries for the fall. So oh, Aries, there's some new communication coming in that is going to bring some clarity to something, something old, um, new relationships, this is like maybe new contracts, new, uh, something in regards and reference to work, but particularly business, even. Clarify this. You may also really be in the space of controlling um, how it is that you're wielding your sword. You may be cutting something away that is uh, like something watching you, in a sense. You are, may unknowingly be moving, removing this from you um, by shifting the way in which it is that you communicate. Um, or maybe someone is deciding or wanting to come in out of um, 
this new way that you have been communicating, that you've been carrying yourself, perhaps. Uh, someone's wanting to pick your mind, see how you think. Where about this? Yeah, Ace of, Ace of Coins. It's like they see the beauty in you and wanting to connect. This is also feeling like you're seeing the beauty within yourself. Union with God, feeling at one with yourself, feeling at one um, with your divineness. It's like you are everything that's been happening, all the hard times, all, all the struggle, whatever, all the pain, whatever it is that you've been experiencing is coming forward with um, a new flow of things, a new dynamic of things, right? Um, and it seems to be uh, removing this internal conflict within. There may be some of you who are experiencing and dealing with some sort of eternal conflict, internal conflict, out of being unsure of which way to go and how to make things real. Right, but um, know that you already have it. You have the wisdom it is that you need. It's time to start implementing it <clears throat> if you haven't already. Okay, so yes, yeah, so in the goddess card we have coming out here is the wounded healer. Okay, and with the wounded healer coming out, this is um, what I'm getting is new life right you supporting others by way of um this new understanding um it's like a lot of nurturing taking place here uh in reference to others you're also <clears throat> okay so you're also moving away from so it's like this internal conflict it is that you've been having within or had had within um, had you wearing a lot of masks, had you not really being yourself, had you not really feeling that you could trust yourself, trust what it is that you're going to say, trust what it is that you were going to do. But now all of that that has happened it is freeing you from doing this. Now you are the wounded healer. Okay, so Chiron is in Aries right now. Wow. Chiron is in Aries. Okay, and the week that I'm recording this video, we're about to have a full moon that's going to be conjunct uh, Chiron. Okay, so um, that's going to be very pivotal. There may be something happening for you during that time that's going to like put you on this trajectory. Okay, that's going to move you forward in a way of, uh, uh, of like a consistent work effort, consistent workflow. This is also helping you move through any old shackles, like wherever it is that you have been bounded, you are not there at all. <clears throat> this uh, this bomb, you have freed yourself. So let's see what is it, what it is in love for you, Aries. <clears throat> love for you, Aries. Somebody wants you full time. <laughs> forever and ever and long term let's retire together please yeah mm -hmm. I adore you this is what you got for love Aries okay so somebody is really seeing the beauty in you they feel alive when they're with you it's really beautiful okay so Aries yes yeah, so all of your messages um, let's be for Leo Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo for this fall? What messages do you have for Leo for this fall? What messages do you have for Leo for this fall? Spirit for Leo. Leo, the bottom, Susie. Okay, Leo. So you're being patient. Things are coming in. You're just waiting for them to show up. Okay. And in the meantime, you're going to keep having the work done. What I do want to say is just because it's not here now doesn't mean that you need to um, create these narratives that they that it won't be here, that there's something wrong because it's not here. 
It's like you're investing. Continue to invest. Know that your time spent on what you're putting in, what you're doing, whatever that is, whatever action it is that you're taking, these enterprises that you're moving on, this work it is that you're doing, what you're feeling passionate about, that passion is going to be returning to you. Do not let your mind get in the way of what it is that you are attempting to call in, right? You are in a receiving all of things may be coming uh, much more quickly than you anticipate, but you have to give it time. I'm trying to tell you, okay? We got the Queen of Wands. So this means to clarify with this three of uh, sticks, right? This is the exact same energy, okay? So it's really important <clears throat> for you to know, like, you can't be so focused on having to be out there, right? You need to focus more on what cannot be seen, okay? You need to um, know that you have the ability to, that it's coming to you. You have to relax. You can't be so forward. You can't be so pushy. You have to um, go with the flow of things, okay? You've seen what has been, right? And from you being able to see what has been, you can see where you're going, all right? Um, know that you're protected at this time. Like, whatever it is that you need to cleanse, cleanse. Maybe you throw it in a fire. Maybe you do some root work on your mind, okay? And, and get yourself in a stable place along in conjunction with some meditation every day, okay? Maybe you need to uh, get still because there's a lot of worry going on beneath the surface, in a space where you don't need to worry and what that's going to end up doing is blocking your ability to receive. It's going to block your magnetism because you are extremely magnetic right now. Okay. You're drawing it when you don't. It's easier said than done, but you cannot let these worries, these unfounded worries consume you. Okay. Let that shit die. <laughs> Do not do not do that to yourself. Yeah, because the scarcity is coming out. This is Su Sokoyant. Sokoyant. And she is the hag in the um she's like hag by night. Uh like fiery woman by day or something like that, like, you know, don't portray yourself, don't get into this space of self-sabotage, because you're doing a good job, okay, you're doing great, you need to know that your blessings are always flowing, you have to be okay with being patient for things to come in, you have to know that investments take time, they have to be nurtured, they have to grow, all right, you have to give it some water, give it some, you know, nourish it, um, it you don't have to always be on go, 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 Right? It's okay to take a break from things. It's okay to um, continue to create, continue to build, to continue to enjoy and love, right? Um, to continue to bond and build relationships and connect, right? Because it has to be balanced. World, you have to keep going. You have to live. You have to life, all right? You can't always be sitting around being focused on what ain't right, what the smallest. You, you more focus on the terrible small things than the great small things. Like, what went well today? Can you wake up in the mornings and write a gratitude list? Can you go to bed at night and make a list of the great things, the things that you are grateful for for yourself, like, and how that served you that day? Okay. Relationships for Leo. Relationships for Leo. Well, I keep shuffling these the wrong way. I guess it don't matter. Relationships for Leo. Love for Leo. So, this is the thing that I'm saying. All right. This is talking about I don't have time. This is you saying you don't have time because you are so focused on going, going, going. When someone is really trying to spend a lot of time with you because they love being around you. All right. They love spending time with you. 
but you like, I don't have time. Granted, you may be feeling like somebody feel like that they don't have time for you. All right. Maybe they have a legitimate reason for not having time for you. But let's, let's pull another card on this, but know that um that someone has to make time. Like you cannot always be on go. You can't always be on go. Hold me in your arms. You cannot always be on go. You need to take a moment to be still and um connect hold, you know. In the bottom, don't let me go ever. All right, so whoever this is, uh, y'all both, right? Or maybe this is someone who's coming in, someone new, you know, however it is that you have going on within your relationship, your love life right now. Um, but it may seem like that you just don't have time or they don't have time, but the feeling of, of love, of connection, this, this is that scarcity energy. And maybe you're telling yourself you don't even have time for you. Hold yourself, all right? Be close, connect with the people, all right? Balance, work-life balance. Do not burn yourself out feeling like that. Um, one thing is more important than the, than the other because that is not the case. Okay, Leo, those are your messages, okay? So let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius for the fall. What messages do you have for Sagittarius spirit? For the fall, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Sagittarius for the fall. Seeing the number four, stability. A lot of yellow, maybe even in your head about it. <clears throat> Oh, maybe it's making me feel very joyful. I don't know. Just see such experience. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, the stability is family. All right, it's abundance. It's flow. It's wisdom. Okay, this is everything. And this is work. This is knowledge. This is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Work, knowledge, wisdom. All right. Um, you coming into this place of stability this fall, right? Of having everything it is that you need. Maybe you've been really overburdened with some things. Maybe you finally have the help it is that you've been seeking, the connections it is that you're seeking. <clears throat> some old cycles are closing, some old doors are closing when it comes to your material world as well or the way that you connect with God even you may be getting on some new spiritual path wow that thunder is bright I've never seen that before so many times I've used this card used this card I've never seen it. wow your ancestors are really here supporting you they are when you're seeing orbs, when you're seeing things floating, know that that is them. They are, are trying to let you know that all is well, all is good. Okay, maybe you want to change your curtains this fall. Maybe you want to um, put some new colors, some new decor up even. All right, um, maybe there's some travel that's taking place during this time. And this is like foreign country travel. Um, I mean, it could be in whatever country you live in, too, because that's foreign, too, <clears throat> you know. But you're really supported. Um, it's a really good time for you with this fall energy. Clarify the ten of coins for Sagittarius. <laughs> wow. So we have the six of coins here, Sagittarius. So you are having like hearing Big Hank Bank. Um, things are coming into balance for you. 
Um, hmm. So some things may be coming undone, even right these cycles that are ending, they're closing out for something new to be built. Um, like, but you're very confident in this going for a very trailblazing, like, you know what you want. Maybe you're dealing with someone who knows what they want, who knows where they're going, who knows who they are, and they are not hesitating um, by any means of what it is they do. Like, they may be inspiring to you. Their confidence may be very uh, inviting to you, very attractive to you, and that's helping you in this own, in your own personal self-worth, your own personal love of self value of self as well and this is in turn extending in um to your family you may get into some type of humanitarian effort where you're helping the community at this time <clears throat> but it may pay you Yeah, so you really focus on being yourself, living out loud, all right, knowing that it's safe to be you, to speak up. Maybe you are, wow, yeah, you must be showing up and defending people. Something is changing drastically for you. Um, and this is like an internal thing, may not, it's not necessarily outside of you. But it has to do with home, like maybe you're sharing your home life, maybe you are um, connecting more with your family even, um, and being comfortable in being who it is that you are, okay? Maybe this is even people who just feel like family to you. Maybe you connect it, oh, are you connecting more with your ancestors at this time? Hmm. It's a lot of free flowing energy for you. Things are moving very quickly. When it comes to love, like for people who are not in a relationship, there may be someone coming in, but know that it's cuffing season. <laughs> that don't mean they're going to stay. So, um, love. Okay. Or maybe they will, but for those of you who are with someone, they feel whole with you and maybe you feel whole with them as well right so you're in a very stable connection um, for those of you who are and there may be someone who come in for those of you um, who are not with someone who makes you feel whole right who kind of fills in those gaps that have been missing okay um but uh don't let past betrayals, past hurts get in the way of what it is that you're creating here, right? Or get in the way of what it is that you're trying to make happen. Don't let these thoughts, these ideas, um, right? What's that you all talking about? Maybe that, that was Leo. Um, but when it comes to love, do your best to focus on what is right now, right? Not the past, not the future, just right now, okay? So Sagittarius, those are your messages. I hope that um, they serve me well throughout the season. And yes, we are going to move on to the earth signs, and I will see you all in a minute. Okay, earth signs, so let's get into this autumn energy and see what it is given for you guys. So earth signs. So what messages do we have for the earth signs and festivals? What would you like for them to know at this time? Earth signs. Give it all you got. Earth signs. Mm -hmm. So, wow, Earth signs. The first card that's coming out is the Father of Sticks. All right, so there may be some things coming up for you in reference to your father. Um, maybe your father is supporting you in some way, but this is also just saying to me that you are very forthright, confident, and know where it is that you want to go, how you want to do it, what you're going to do about it. Um, there may also be some cleansing taking place. 
right, specifically in reference to the crown chakra, that connection to the divine, okay, and um, in, in that supporting you in, in reconnecting with your passionate sense of self, your innocent, your vigorous sense of self, right, and really allowing you to really have that that upright, like you may be doing, there may be some some work taking place, right? So you may be deciding to um, connect with a worker, like a magician, someone of a spiritual sense. This may even be you. You may be the magician, <laughs> you know, and um, really again, supporting other people, but uh, this is also what I'm getting is you uh, getting in touch with the sweetness of life again, right? And really feeling like, yes, this is going to happen. I see that it's happening. I know that it's happening. There is no other way, okay? Um, I know this to be true. This is what is true. This is what is real. This is my world. Give it all you got. Like, that's really what that father of six energy is. What else is here? You know, you're really being authentically you, being yourself in um, every realm, right? You have everything that is that you need to make it happen, and you're utilizing it. You are making use of your energy wisely, right? And it's kind of like effortless for you. Verification. Wow. Okay. Okay. And so we got the King of Cups here. All right. So with the King of Cups, this can be speaking 